other cable, which I think is the, the richest uh, of any one single cable, uh, concerns, it, it just has so much in it, it is so rich. Um, it concerns censorship, the Kurds, uh, Turkey, violation of the separation of powers, uh, and the false status of Scandinavian states uh, as liberal democracies, and how the head of NATO got his job. It's all in one cable. <clears throat> oh, and Barack Obama in on it as well. Okay, so there's the Kurds. They exist as an ethnic group of about 20, 30 million people uh, in the border uh, regions of Turkey, Iraq, and Syria. Big news at the moment because of what is happening in Syria and Iraq uh, with the Islamic State. Um, they have a TV station, or rather they had a TV station called ROJ TV. It's the largest Kurdish language broadcaster. Uh, that TV station was destroyed as part of a plot. Who was in on that plot? Barack Obama, the Turks, and the head of NATO. The head of NATO, uh, until just recently, uh, Rasmussen. He was the former prime minister of Denmark, and he wanted this plum job as being the head of NATO. Uh, he's an awful uh, reactionary transatlantic. <laughs> Okay, now now Denmark has just hacked your connection. So, of course, the Yanks were happy. The Turks Minister of Denmark wanted to become head of NATO. That's Rasmussen. You will have seen him in the past year trying to foster increasing tensions between the United States and Russia. Um, okay, Rasmussen, former Prime Minister of Denmark, he wanted to become head of NATO. The U.S. And Obama also wanted him to be head of NATO. The Turks are perfectly happy with him being head of NATO, but the way NATO works is that each country has veto power. The Turks wanted to destroy the Kurdish language TV station ROJ, the largest Kurdish language broadcaster. What's Denmark got to do with it? Well, Denmark is where ROJ TV was headquartered. It beams up to Eurosat, beams down into the Kurdish regions. So Turkey had been going after these things in a variety of ways. They tried to allege it was connected to the PKK. They tried to allege that it displayed too much violence and therefore fostered terrorism. It took those cases domestically within Denmark and they all failed. It was found to be a perfectly normal TV channel with no connections to the PKK. Um, but in the cable, the uh, prosecutor, the equivalent of the... Um, Danish uh, attorney, attorney General and a senior member of the Danish Intelligence Service, PET, the equivalent of the CIA of Denmark, go into the US Embassy to have a chat about how they're going to fuck up ROJ TV because the deal with Rasmussen and Obama and NATO needs it. And the US Embassy and the Danes are going, well, um, the problem is that we haven't been able to find any of these connections to the PKK. So um, let's go after it on tax grounds. Uh, let's go after it looking at the content. Uh, let's see if we can come up with creative solutions. And that is precisely what happened. Uh, they went after it on content grounds. They said that this Kurdish language broadcaster uh, was talking about things too much from the Kurdish perspective, uh, that it wasn't balanced enough in its reporting uh, about what was happening uh, in the Kurdish speaking regions of Turkey. Uh, and so the Danish courts whacked it uh, as a result of this conspiracy that was, brought, that was developed. Um, the case is now before the European Court of Human Rights. The star exhibits in that case, the Kurds have taken the Danes to court, uh, is, uh, are these two cables, one in particular. Anyway, it, it says that, uh, you know, that Barack Obama has sealed this deal. He's all happy with that. Uh, the TV station was wiped out. Censorship... Uh, uh, not merely of one TV station, but an entire uh, peoples, an entire language group. So that's how the modern world works, including what you think uh, is the modern pristine world of social democracies in Scandinavia. It's not there. It's just a more sophisticated illusion.
And all of that in, in just one cable gives you a sense of the wealth of information that is housed on WikiLeaks site. Uh, I want to thank Julian Assange. It's the middle of the night there for joining us. I think everyone here really was